Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning and today it is a brand new week. Last week I had a very high serious case of pneumonia myself. I finished my psychiatry final and also it was my fiance's birthday so there was no real time to do anything besides you know being a slave. Uh, but we're back here now and I feel a bit <coughs> better and uh, let's just get back to the game playing some Golgari. It is a solid strong deck and yeah let's go straight to the deck list. Alright, so this is the deck we're gonna play today. It's a good old fashioned Golgari ramp with Stomper, Invasion of Zendikar into Breach, Titan of Industry, and at some case, Attracts of the Grey Unifier. I do like sp uh, putting in, you know, the two uh, islands and uh, the, the plane in order to eventually be able to cast Traxa, and also being able to have all the basic lands in order to essentially wipe the entire board with Drag to the bottom. So I said there's not really anything else to say about the deck. We have, you know, 12 2 drops, hopefully. I mean, your hand should have at least one 2 drop and hopefully you're on the play. <laughs> and if you're on the draw and you have no 2 drop, you should mulligan in the hand. There's not much else to say about it. We also have one herd migration for the heck of it. And yeah, I mean, you could remove this, put in a breach, but it's nice to have another card that can give you some life and potentially pick a land in the beginning. Either way, uh, yeah, we just stomp her invasion, big spell, and flip the opponent off, and it's very, very strong. I think we almost get seven wins with this deck, so with that being said, let's go to the first game. Alright, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please do not stay to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you, and it helps the channel out. And if you happen to enjoy the content, please give the video a like and possibly subscribe. That would make my day. Alright, let's start to the first game. Okay, opponent gets to go first, and this hand is not the greatest. Two blast zones, I mean, uh, one blast zone, I guess, is better than two. So we can keep this hand and see how we go from here. Against Feather the Forest. Alright, so I guess you're playing some good old mono white soldiers. So the whole win condition here is to ramp out as fast as possible and get uh, Jeff Bezos down, so, and then the opponent will start crying. There's not really much else to do against mono white. Okay, it's Boros. So it's, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a new deck that came up since I took a break. Uh, that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and play out our Suza. And hopefully we find ourselves a uh, forest. We can play out our Stomper. Let's tap this to make sure we don't have any more priorities so the turn can go a bit smoother. So fe fear the forest. I don't know why I read Feather the Forest. That's fucking stupid. Either way, uh, so let's see if he has his Adeline on turn 3. No, Warden. Okay, so we've been given a blessing by God, thank God. And okay, that is not so much of a blessing, but it's not... I mean, we can still deal with it if we get another... If we get an untapped land, we can play Drag to the bottom and it's game is over for this opponent. I mean, getting 4-4-1 four, four, is very good. Even though he gets two creature cards here. <laughs> no land. Well, you can concede here if you want, or you take a bite from the Sour Apple and just keep on playing. So let's kill the Copper Coat because it deals the most damage here that we can kill. And hopefully get a land next turn. The opponent gets land, isn't that fun? Isn't that great, guys? Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 damage. We got down to 8. But yeah, look at that. We got the land though, so are you ready for the good old fashion? It's over. It's over. Yeah, that gotta hurt. I mean, one card, all those cards gone. That's why I don't play aggro, because when that happens, I mean, I never get a heart on ever again. Uh, so I think we just go straight with invasion here, because we're gonna have seven mana, and then Titan comes down, and uh, we'll have good, a good time. Let's go ahead and pick the Attracts of Manas, so if we ever draw her, it's in a very good situation. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we just play you out. Yeah, we definitely do 4-4 four, four in life. Your turn opponents, I guess, yeah, this Imodain kind of token crap, this can, can be dangerous. Another one, sure. Fair. Uh, so I think we go Stomper, Stomper, and we attack into the invasion with the uh, Titan. Uh, 
again here, I, I mean, I said so in previous older videos that try to fetch all the basics besides uh, forest, because forest can be fetched only with the glimpse the nature, gl glimpse the core. So yeah, I think we attack here. I mean, he has to throw in at least two tokens to prevent it. Because he's going to play at both these two red soldiers here, the Modanes. And I still don't think he doesn't have nearly enough to kill me. So, let's leave it at this. Let's see what you get. Haha, <laughs> lol. But there's nothing he can do. He has to play those two out and attack, and that's his final attack, so to speak. Sure, Imodane's recruiter is out. Great. And the next one. Sure. Alright. Here comes the family. Uh, so we are going to block four. Definitely one of the three two. And we are going to take eight, I think. Which brings me down to five, and then that's it. Yeah. I think I think this is good, because then we can get back our stomper with uh, uh, Virtue of Persistence. Perfect. Get all, all the lands here. It's you out. Yeah, we can play out, it doesn't matter. We attack with our Vigilance creature. And yeah, I mean, yeah, there's not a single card in his hand that he can actually win with, so it doesn't really matter, the game is over. Yeah, but it was a good game. Okay, opponent gets to go first, and this is uh, again a terrible hand. That's two games in a row on the draw and having to mulligan, that's not good. And this hand is a bit better, I guess. We do have drag, we have glimpse. Yeah, I think this is a good hand. Uh, again, three tap lands, if you can believe that. The deck is just trying to give... <laughs> it's an uber bad mood. We'll keep it. And we'll toss the herd. <laughs> Not good. Alright, Tenori. Okay, we're playing against Lesnia. And we found an untapped land. That's good. Doesn't matter which one we pick. Uh, so Ram next turn, and then we can play a drag to the bottom right away. Which is not bad. Human, huh? So this is a new take of Lesnia. The Covert Kublu make a new deck. We'll see. I have not checked any YouTube activities for the past, I think, 10 days. Man, I was really sick. I had a, a huge bacterial infection in my lungs. I had to be on antibiotics for a couple of days. Not only that, I also had a final in psychiatry, which was really not fun. Uh, yep, but I managed to do that, and I still have my thesis to do. Now we're gonna go tap land here and uh, um, ramp, and then hopefully uh, place out a big board next turn that we can wipe. Uh, and then the following turn will play out Titan of Industry. So yeah, I have been essentially dead. But hey, some of the new cards look really cool from uh, Carla Manor. Murders at Carla Manor, so I'm gonna, I'm very excited to try it out. Okay. And this looks like a sweet tank. I never experienced humans. Okay. See, so still, okay, Catilla again. I don't know why he did that. He's just gonna waste it. Sure. Uh, but I think this is as good as ever to get rid of the board. If he does in. And we can play out and play out our land. Maybe we should play treasure map in this deck, just so we don't gas out, because that's what's happening right now. We have no breaches, we have no attractions. We don't have the mana for tracks anyway. Augur again. Sure. I mean, no, we play you out, obviously. I don't think gas ossification in this deck. I'd rather bait an ossification out with our Stomper and then kill it with uh, Titan. But uh, I don't think he has it. I think he's more likely to play, you know, uh, Brutal Cathar as a JL kind of card. Distraction Specialist, okay. Okay, Kittilla's back. Copper Coat, sure. Mine turn. So let's get the Stomper out. There's not much else we can really do. Work on the tracks of mana. Like glimpse, and then yeah, we were one mana off from attacking with a cottage, which is unfortunate. Get you out, and we attack. 
See if he wants to throw away his uh, extraction specialist to activate his Katilda. Well, I don't think so. Okay. Why? Oh, it's fine. I, mean, I guess he only he only took nine damage instead of eleven. Talia, that is a cool card. Wow. Wow. Not bad. So yeah, taking my shield counter is going to make uh, my titan not being able to get through. Okay, now I know why sacrifice that. And then, okay. One is playing a really cool deck. I mean, if the auger dies and it's over and he found a second one, so I guess he's pretty lucky, but still. And he was on the play and his opponent had a mulligan, so. Oh, that's pretty good. So I wouldn't say it's that good. Let's do this. 4-4 uh, four, four, and uh, shield counter. And put that on you. So we're gonna lose a creature to his uh, Talia, but we're gonna get him for some damage. He has to throw away his uh, yeah, interpret adversary, or he has to trade. Yep. Which is good. He's gonna be down to five. The extraction specialist is a bit annoying. The next turn we can attack and essentially... Uh, I mean, he has all some creatures back here. Yeah, we've had some interesting draws. Ooh, he topped his lifelinker. That can't be smart. <laughs> and that's it. Well, it doesn't matter. We attack with the titans, he's essentially dead. Alright, on the draw again, and the hand is essentially doo-doo. This is, uh, what? Mulligan again! <laughs> This hand is sh** too, how am I supposed to- Okay, mulligan again. This is usually when I just can see the game. If I'm on the draw and I have to mulligan twice before I can play something, it's not good. Against Black Luda, so you know he's very cool. Okay, Azorius. If it's Azorius control, I'm going to be out of this game so fast, you will never find me. Okay, it looks like it. Ooh, de lolly. Let's go ahead and try the ramp, see if it wants to counter this. Maybe it hasn't. Okay, it's fine. Here we go. I mean, I guess his order's control and two Azusas. I mean, this just spells bad luck. Alright. Let me play this, please. Thank you. My game is a bit laggy. Would you like to counter this Black Lotus? One eternity later. Slower than holy moly. Come on, dude. Alright, finally. Some real hard thinking there. Let's get you out and play out of the Azusa. Well, if I know you have seen the blue eyed samurai, holy sh. That was a good show. I mean, am I, I'm thinking of watching shows now when this rope is already out. I mean, at least he's living up to the Azor's name. Oh my god, he, he, he negated the Azusa. Why? Okay. Uh, I think... Uh, okay, we're not going anywhere here. It's time to probably admit defeat and move on to the next game. I don't think we can get anywhere from here. Honest. I mean, he's probably going to remember Deluge here. He has five cards in hand. We mulligan twice. He's slower than holy shit. And he's a counter player. So, I mean, no, I don't think... I'm, this is a waste of my time. I do not get better from a pneumonia to play this. <laughs> Alright, we finally get to go first, and the hand is in shit. Oh my god, Hoochie Moochie. Hope you're prepared. When you're on the draw, and when you're on the play, sorry, and you have a good hand with this deck, you are a train. No one can survive you. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a forest. If we are allowed, because the game is slower than... Okay, it's on dial-up internet. The servers need to get upgraded to broadband, please, wizards. Okay, oh my god, this is the worst card in standard. It is just annoying. He's gonna take Stomper probably, and I'm just gonna vert to it and I get it back. And that, that was the end of that card. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. It works well in Esper together with the Rafine, and that's really it. Or in Demir with the uh, Kaito, but come on, give me a break. I mean, bye. I'll have my stomper back. 
This is a good card if no one is playing removal. Sadly, this is a format where everyone plays removal. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. The bat died and you... Ugh, whatever, next game. Oh my god, on the play again. All right, everyone, lock your daughters away. Average gamer is here to play. Oh, actually, Ryan, that's pretty cool. So, uh, NMJ... Okay, email this dude if you have, pro if you have pro problems with the game. Whenever you're ready, buddy. All right, he mulligans. Feels good, huh? So here we're in a dilemma. We have three lands in our hands, either Azusa or Glimpse. If I draw a land, I'm gonna Azusa. If I don't draw a land, I'm gonna play Glimpse. Because I don't want to ramp and then not being able to play a land. But I'll play 26 of them, so we should be... Drawing an extra land there would not have been impossible. Okay, nothing. We'd love to see that. So let's get the Stomper out. Uh, yeah. We could have drawn an untapped land and play Breach next turn, but it's fine this way too. And we get the next uh, Swamp. The next turn we play at Invasion, and we attack into the Invasion, and then we play Breach, and the opponent's going to be very, very sad. Sure. Cathars out with cool art. Can't wait for it to rotate it out. It's a boring card. Mine turn. See if we didn't get the land. I was not wrong. Let's go search for two more, and he gets one turn to do some damage to me. But I am at 20 life, so it's not going to be that dangerous. Attracts a mana, come. And we'll pass the turn here. Four mana, what do you have? Is this ain't it? Okay, always this card, man. I do not... <laughs> I don't enjoy this soldier at all. It's not particularly... It's just annoying. It's not re really threatening. It's just very annoying. Sure. I mean, you, you know, wish you can have a Tali out this turn. So now here... Oh, we also have a Traxa. Let's see what we find here. And uh, we have to go with Knight Errant, who's the biggest card, and our Tyson. Jeff Bezos is here to shut down all the applies for a union. We can actually kill his Skrelf, so I think we do that instead of gaining life. Bye. Oh, two breaches? I'm so glad we didn't get that. That would have been too easy. Another Cathar, sure. If I find one uh, drag to the bottom, this opponent's going to have to go back to therapy. Then what? Another Knight Errant, you gotta be. Uh, sure, he's gonna find he needs another Brutal Cathar, I guess. Two Adelines, funny. Well, what can you do against the Traxa? Show me what you got. And uh, Virtue is really good, so we can get our Titan back. Breach, oh, sign me up, baby. Uh, Cottage is nice, Stomper is nice. But how did that work? I mean, I have three breaches in the deck. I saw two with Knight Errant of Eos, and then I saw one, so I've seen all of them and one extra. I guess I shuffle, I have no idea. Let's see if he wants to trade. Ah, oh, he does. I played a breach, I saw two breaches, and then I think I only played three, so then I shuffled the two away to the bottom and then I drew one. I don't know how that makes any sense. Okay, scroll. And Talia. And Adeline. Alright, so you can't say you haven't had a strong board, but what are you gonna do against this Nightmare Angel? Sure. I mean, he does have a scary board. But I think I take my Titan back. And I use Titan's ability to kill scroll again. So you can't, you know, get him for free. Scroll is such a good card. Bye. And I think we just play out... Oh, that's it. I mean, to be fair, he can't really do much here. Alright, so we're gonna switch into the high gear. I'm gonna play the remaining games in high speed that I didn't choose to use my voiceover for. Uh, because I didn't think they were too interesting or whatever. But people want to see all my games, so I'm just gonna, you know, remove the audio, the, to the voiceovers, and play some music, and have it at four times the speed, and... Hopefully enjoy the gameplay, and then I'll see you at the outro. So with that being said, uh, see you later, and enjoy!
Alright, so we got six wins, which is really good coming back from a minor hiatus. I mean, a Golgari is not a very popular color, but it's still pretty damn strong. You can handle, you know, you can handle itself against most decks. Uh, what can I say about it? What improvements would I want to do? I don't really have any. I think this is a good version of it. I mean, we don't play shoulder, which is kind of bad, but... And two blast zones might be too much. I, do, I know we mulliganed one game because of it. Yeah, I mean, we were on the draw a lot. I mean, mulliganed, I think, over half the games we were on the draw mulligan, which is not good. If we had been on the play every single game against Mono Red, we would have gone seven winners, right? And that's the most popular deck, and we didn't see a single Mono Red player. So that's kind of strange. Either way, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe, and... Have a good fucking day!